What started out as a hobby for the former 180-pound collegiate point guard has become a career for Phil Heath. I realized, wow, this is awesome, just to see the body transform. I always admired people that, you know, had big muscles and even when I was a kid, you know, watching cartoons. After winning several amateur competitions, Heath's bodybuilding career really took off in 2005 when he gained national attention. I was approached by uh, Joe Weider, Weider Publications, and was offered a, an endorsement contract. Shortly thereafter, Heath won the Mr. USA competition, which gave him pro status. Bodybuilding is probably the, big, the, the, the hardest sport ever I have ever tried because it required my full attention to detail. I didn't realize that it took a lot of intelligence. What professional bodybuilders do outside the gym is as important as what they do in the gym. Rest and diet are strictly monitored. Heath's knowledge of different foods affecting his body would make nutritionists envious. I need to know the difference between different types of proteins, different types of carbs, different, different kinds of fat sources to yield certain results. That knowledge of food is crucial especially as he gets closer to a competition. I usually eliminate the red meat as much as I can and start sticking to like a, a white fish, like a tilapia, uh, cod, or halibut, because it even has like those really good fish oils to help thin out the skin that makes the muscles even larger than life. Heath knows working out twice a day, six days a week will increase the size of his muscles, but he also knows bodybuilding has the potential increase the size of his bank account. I want to be the face of bodybuilding, not just as a champion, but as a business person. Because the world of health and fitness is a big business. I mean, the supplement industry and things of that nature, there's billions of dollars in that. And being a DU guy, you know, I'm all about business. On September 25th, he'll get down to business in an attempt to win the Mr. Olympia competition, the Super Bowl of bodybuilding a title held by only 12 men in the event's 45-year history. To be a part of that elite group, I mean, I would love to see my name as me and Mr. Olympia champion. Heath also loves being an ambassador for the sport, and he wants to deliver a simple message. My whole goal with this is to take bodybuilding into the mainstream and try to get the, the world to understand we all need to be fit. I smile all the time, but being a bodybuilder is just it's so much fun. Michael Demoff, Fox 31 Sports.